what's going down guys it's your boy studio macgyver welcome to my channel i want to talk about the last dragon ball super episode that just took place i gotta say i was blown away by topo in this episode i was sleeping on topo i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> i thought topo was a scrub i mean i thought he was a pot belly you know beard having big hand dude or whatever i didn't think too much of the guy man but after watching what I just saw, I have to take that back. I have to take those words back. I'm eating my words now. And he fucking handled Frieza um, like he was nothing. That transformation was awesome, I have to admit. I like Topo a lot better in this form, in this God of Destruction form. Um, let's see what happens with this because right now, man, if I had to make a decision on what the future of universe 7 would be i would be shook right now to keep it real it just doesn't look good for us man um vegeta and goku are still struggling with jiren he's not even broken a sweat 17 was doing his thug thizzle for a hot minute into the transformation and frieza <laughs> he got his ass handled accordingly um thought he was all that in a bag of chips uh Topo had that transformation and then he just cleaned his clock. Could have killed him, was gonna crush his head, but he was like, yo, I'm not gonna get disqualified. So, <laughs> commenced to kicking him out of the ring. Luckily for 17, uh, well, luckily for Frieza, 17 came in and saved his ass with that rock he threw, um, which offset the, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess the, the output of where he was supposed to land. And he ended up, you know, still being technically in the ring not kicked out so thanks 17 for that freezer when you wake your mark ass up um with that being said i mean next episode we got a quick glimpse of what it was going to look like and um vegeta is going to get some more shine i'm i'm hoping that he un he peels back another layer to his um ultra instinct his version of that and something happens man because that's the only way i see these guys winning um, because they, you, as you can see, they can't beat Jiren in the state that they're in right now. I mean, they need more time with these, with these abilities because they're just, <clears throat> they're just, you know, finding these abilities. They're just unlocking them. So, you know, with any new form or ability, you're going to have to spend time with it to, you know, get the, get the fullest effect from it. And right now they're doing everything on the fly. So I'm like, I'm wondering how they're going to handle this, um, unless there's like a major weakness that eventually gets exposed. Um, that's the only other way I see this may be happening. But <clears throat> by the looks of it right now, man, it does not look good for us. Universe seven, man, it, it's it's not looking too good, man. Uh, Yeah, so with that being said, what do you guys think is going to happen next? Do you think Vegeta, because he's going up against Topo now, a God of Destruction Topo, so how do you guys think Vegeta's going to fare in this fight? And then while they're fighting, like, what really else is going to be going on? Do you think Jiren is just going to be sitting there marinating, you know, with Goku? I don't think so. Um, Frieza's still in the tournament, so he's still there for a reason. I mean, they could have just easily just kicked him out, even though he's KO'd right now. I mean, I feel that he still has some kind of purpose, else they wouldn't have uh, still have him in the ring, I think. So something's up with that, and that's another dilemma but i guess we'll get to that bridge when we when we cross it well we'll cross that bridge when we get to it excuse me guys but um it's only a few episodes left i mean what else is there that can really be done i mean so i'm interested to see how this is going to end man because is it is it going to end you know on a cliffhanger and and then we get super again in 2019 or are they going to wrap all of this shit up now and then next year we get a brand new series we get a brand new saga a brand new all of that so i don't know man um most people around the internet and everything like that they're saying that they're gonna wrap up super and it will not be super returning it will be something else so i don't know man i'm anxious to see what's gonna happen how this is gonna wrap up because really the ending is gonna tell it all i think it's gonna tell a lot at least uh what's gonna happen in the future man uh for dragon ball so Let's find out, man. Let's hope that, you know, these last few episodes are drawn pretty, pretty well. For the most part, this episode was. Um, I just 
One part I didn't like about it was the fact that, you know, Freeze's animation, it, it was kind of off. It didn't look like him. And then, you know, I just, I wasn't feeling it. As a Freeza fan, I, you know, that's just my opinion. That's what it looked like to me, you guys. Um, tell me what you think. Do you think, did he look like Freeza to you guys? Because he kind of looked off a little bit to me. Um, I don't know. But uh, hopefully, you know, they clean that up, you know, in the incoming episodes or whatever. And we can find out the end results of this tournament. Who else is going to be eliminated? Who's going to get eliminated next? That's the question I'm asking myself. Because I sure thought it was going to be Freeza, but... It wasn't, but um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed the talk, the discussion. It was quick, but I like them short and sweet. Um, please, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. I have a very, very small channel. I'm trying to grow it, trying to do my thing. I put out content on a daily, so every day is something new on this channel, guys. If you like Dragon Ball, if you like video games, man, anime, then you're at the right place. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I'll holler at you later. Riding in a capsule corporation spaceship with the top down. Dreaming that you're kissing me all over with your top down. Let's get away from here. With you, it's always clear.